guys. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. Or has it been two hot minutes? I think it's probably been a long time. It's almost been a month since I've recorded a video. Holy cow. Actually, that's not true. I did record a video, but there was a bit of drama around it. I mean, I shouldn't say a bit. A major amount of drama around it that I took the video down. So, it's been a month overall since I've visited with you before and I a lot to catch you guys up on. So, if you're curious, you know the drill. Stay tuned. So, oh my gosh. Anyways, I, uh, it's Sunday. I'm hoping to get this uploaded so that you guys can see it Sunday afternoon sometime. I know the Patriots are on this afternoon and um, I'll have plenty of time. I'm not planning on, um, on going down to visit Jay and I know none of you don't even, most of you don't even know the story yet. But let me just tell you, <laughs> since, our, since the last video, I'll first, I'll, I'll get the drama out of the way. This is going to be sort of a, a chatty thing all over the place, but I'll get the drama out of the way. I had recorded a video uh, about a wig from a company called I Am Wigs. And they had sent me two wigs that were squished together in this funky box. And I, I contacted them. I said, I wanted you, you know, wanted you to take it back because I wasn't going to record it if this is the way you send it to a, you know, a so-called influencer. What is it going to be like when you send it to people that aren't on YouTube type of thing? So they apologized. They went all over the place. Oh, no, it's the new shipping company, blah, 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 blah. And so they were sending me these messages one after another. And I was just ignoring it. And then um, one day I got two new wicks in the mail. And they were packaged beautifully. They were packaged absolutely beautifully. And the wigs, other than the gray one, was not my color. The wigs were surprisingly high quality, I thought. So I said, all right, I'm going to give these people a second chance. And I recorded the video. And I published the video. And I did it on Instagram. And I did it on YouTube. And and then I realized, um, oh, it was Marlene Fab and Glam who had posted something about someone uh, being a scam site. And um, I was like, I, you know, I contacted Marlene and she said, yeah, these people steal the photos and they sell poor quality wigs or, and all this stuff and they just scam people. And I then got really upset. I reached out to the company and they said, no, no, that's not true, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like going, holy, you know, I don't want to be in the middle of this, right? So I took my video down and I took my Instagram stuff down and that kind of really shook me because when, when I talk about something, you know, even in that video, I talked about the first two wigs coming, you know, squished in the box and all that. I explained it. But um, when I talk about something, it, it comes from me. It comes from come how I feel about it, you know. It's, I'm not like an influencer that's making a ton of money on YouTube. I don't make thousands and thousands of dollars a month on YouTube. I'm lucky if I make $200, you know, maybe. Um, so I'm not, I'm not anywhere near that level and I never, I never will be. So when I talk about stuff, it's because I really like it or I don't type of thing. So I was so, so bummed. And that kind of, I think, threw me for a major loop because there I was publishing this video and this, as far as I know, this company ended up being a scam company. And that kind of burst my, my confidence level, right, of being able to judge people or being able to judge products. It really burst my confidence level. So I said, all right, I just, after I took it down, you know, I had a good cry, I had a good little meltdown onto the next thing, you know. And then one thing happened after another. I think I mentioned in my last video that was published um, that I had joined the gym. So I had joined the gym and I joined Planet Fitness mainly because I wanted to be able to go to gyms all over the place. And I knew that Jay and I were going to be going away camping. And this was for Labor, I think it was Labor Day weekend. Yeah, Labor Day weekend. And I wanted to be able to take advantage of those locations, which 
successfully we did. So we did go camping and I recorded all these little bits and pieces of video, which I'm probably never going to do anything with. Um, but because I intended to do a vlog, but then the whole thing with the wig thing just kind of burst me really, really set me back. So, um, Anyways, I'm going to enclose some pictures because we did go camping and we had a great time. We were up in Old Orchard Beach area on a little beach called Pine Point Beach. And um, I'm going to insert this little video. I know I shared this before. We went there for sunset and there's um, they, there's drummers. They're, they're just, it's it's like, I think it's, um, I'm not too sure if they're all Native American or, or what the whole story is. I didn't ask. But they would they drum and the moon comes up and it was just really mesmerizing. That part of the beach is so really nice and flat. You can walk a real long time. Anyways, we stayed at Bailey's, which is a favorite campground in that area for us. It has a beautiful pool. And we just it was hot, hot, hot Labor Day weekend after a crappy summer. Labor Day weekend was super, super hot. It was unreal. But so we just really had a, a great time Labor Day weekend and, and uh, I'm not going to put the vlog together at this point in time because it's too far back. Um, but we did go to the gym while we were there and I found a gym in Portland, in South Portland. And uh, we went to Planet Fitness, both Jay and I. And about this time, he had already heard he was going to have hip surgery. So we knew his hip surgery was going to be September 18th. So he was really trying to, you know, strengthen a little bit and stuff like that, especially with his arms. He's been in so, so much pain for so long that it's been, it's been insane for him. You know, he hasn't been able to walk like he wants to walk. He hasn't been able to golf like he wants to golf. So many different things impact your life, you know, when you're in pain, right? That impacts your lifestyle, your things that you like to do. Well, his pain level was way, way up there. So we were both like, yes, yes you know, finally get the hip replacement surgery done because the beginning of the year, um, we're going to, he needs to be very mobile because we're going to be doing some different things the beginning of the year. And, um, I personally can't drive the RV. It's too big. So he needs to be mobile and, and, you know, fully together. So he had his surgery on the 18th. It went extremely, extremely well. Um, the doctor said he came out of it with flying colors, all of the stuff. They send you home from the hospital that same day. He had anterior, I guess, at, in front, you know. Um, so I guess that was most the easiest way to do it. And um, and they sent, they sent him home. He came home Monday night. I brought him home. It was pouring rain. So it was a little bit difficult getting in the house, as you can well imagine. But we got him in, and that was all cool. Uh, and then he couldn't get comfortable, just couldn't get comfortable on the easy chair. Then he couldn't get comfortable in bed. It was a really rough night for him Monday night, but I figured Tuesday would be better, right? We knew that the first two days it would be rough. Well, Tuesday morning, uh, he got up, he wanted to get up and then I got up because he had to go to the bathroom and I wasn't going to let him go to the bathroom alone. So I had the walker and I was getting ready and he said to me that he felt a little lightheaded. I said, okay, just sit there and, and don't move. I'm going to go out into the barn, the shop, as we call it, when my father used to have the machine shop. Actually, I'm filming out here. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get a bucket. And you can just, I'll help you. You just pee in the bucket. I don't want you to have to get up and go to the bathroom. So I ran out here to get the bucket and, and ran back in. I wasn't even gone four minutes, three to four minutes. I mean, if five minutes would be an absolute stretch. When I went back in the bedroom, he was on the floor. And I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. And at the time I went back in the bedroom and I'm going, oh my gosh, what did you do? What happened? What happened? I told you to stay put. He was just starting to um, come, come to. He had passed out. And um, apparently he, he, he had thought he was just lying back, but he went this way. And he, he doesn't even remember hitting the floor. He doesn't even remember going. He just thought he was going on the bed, lying back. And um, he argued with me for a good 30 minutes. I'm trying to get him up. I couldn't. I said, he said he wanted to try to crawl. I said, Jay, you can't crawl. He's had hip replacement. You can't do any of that. So finally, I just started to cry. And he said, all right, call somebody. Because I went to call 911 or whatever. And they says, they're going to come with the fire department. I said, all right, I'll call the police department, not emergency line. So I did that. 
I called the non-emergency line, explained what happened. They said, we're going to have to initiate rescue. They're going to have to come over. Um, you know, so they did. Long, long story short. Um, he went to the hospital. They checked his neck. They checked his x-rays. He fractured his new hip. Oh my gosh. Um, and he was still dizzy and, and lightheaded. And so his blood pressure, when he was lying down, his blood pressure was okay. But when he sat up, it went way down. When he tried to sit up or stand up, it was like way, 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 I mean, way, way down, dangerously low. So um, they admitted him to the hospital. He couldn't come back home. So he was, in essence, in the hospital since Tuesday morning. Monday was his surgery. Tuesday he went in. Since Tuesday morning, today is Sunday. Yes, uh, Friday, he was finally stabilized. They figured out he was very dehydrated. And there's some other condition, I can't remember the name of it, that drops your blood pressure, um, especially when you're dehydrated and stuff like that. So they finally were able to stabilize him and all that. He still couldn't get up. He still couldn't do anything on his own. So he's in rehab. He went to rehab about five o'clock Friday. And, um, and so yesterday he had a little bit, he had his assessment, of course today's Sunday, so we won't really know what's going to go on until Monday, but Jay's in rehab. His spirits are super good and he's able to be a little bit more mobile, obviously, than when he was in the hospital. So I'm like, Phew, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, you know. I just want him to be able to come home, uh, to be able to walk, you know, to be able to be strong and be Jay again. He's a big guy. I couldn't get him up. He's 6'2", I think, and he's probably about 240, and he's got a lot of muscle on him. So um, he, he, he's he been too heavy. I just couldn't get him up off the floor, and it was just one thing after another. Oh, my gosh. This is probably going to be a long, dragged-out video. Um. But that's where he is. He's being taken care of. I feel 100% better, although being alone at home is not something I'm used to, so I'm adjusting. And I'm kind of uh, liking the fact that I don't have to cook for anyone <laughs> because I just don't cook. I haven't cooked since he was here. But um, yeah, so I also haven't gone to the gym all week because I've been going to the hospital every day, and I had um, a real estate transaction, and I know some of you asked me to tell you more about the prices and stuff like that. I'll, um, I'm going to link my real estate uh, YouTube channel somewhere, maybe in the description or up there, so you guys can, if you're interested, you can see. Anyways, I listed a property in a town. It's very, uh, and I'm not going to say too much because it hasn't closed yet, but um, so it was a very hectic weekend, the weekend before his surgery, because we did two open houses, and then I put another sale together, and I'm going to do uh, a inspection on that on Tuesday. So it's been my real estate business sales, which is what Jay and I do as independent contractors, has nothing to do with my job with my company. I work for a real estate company as a training person. So I went very part-time in that position, but now my real estate sales is like getting very busy, and that's okay. So it's just been a crazy, crazy, crazy time frame, super busy. I just didn't have time for videos, and I'll tell you, when that wig thing happened, that kind of blew my mind. So I also talked about the fact that I was going to have my very second facial. I, I've made no secret about the fact that I went in March and I had some, not, not in, in another, I can't remember the name of it. It's like the Botox, but not that brand or that name brand on my 11s because I couldn't stand my 11s. So some of you that watch all my videos, you know I've talked about that. Anyways, I went to a nurse practitioner, esthetician. She's absolutely lovely, beautiful, beautiful, kind-hearted, sweetheart. Not anyone that believes in over-injecting. And I just love her philosophy. She's a nurse practitioner, and she has a family practice, etc. cetera. So um, I felt super comfortable with her. And she did my 11s, and I absolutely love the results. Now, my, nobody ever noticed uh, much at all until I told them. And it's such a minor change, but I see it. My husband says, even when it wore off, he never, he said, I don't see what you're talking about. But anyways, I see it. So um, I was talking to her and I had set up an appointment to go back and have them because I did it March 1st. 
And I could see my 11s. They were pretty severe and all that stuff. And they're still here right now because it hasn't been that long. But um, so I made an appointment to go back. And she had opened up a place in Reading, Mass as well. And it is, it is called On Haven Aesthetics. Oh, my gosh. What a beautiful, I'm going to enclose some pictures and link the website, but what a beautiful, beautiful spot and um, and her business. I mean, it's just set up really, really nice. I went in there before my injection for my 11th and, 11th and I had a facial. I had a facial by a lady named Theodora and oh my gosh, she was absolutely, she was absolutely fabulous. She had studied for, I think, two years in Europe, and she worked for a number of years in Europe, and then came to the States uh, and started working, and she's an esthetician, and just really, you know, really working on, on I think, helping women or anyone feel as good as they possibly can. Anyways, I absolutely adore Theodora. She did an amazing, amazing facial on me. Absolutely loved it. It was perfect. And then Elizabeth, who is a nurse practitioner, she introduced me to her partner, Crystal, um, who is also a nurse. And the two of them have started the On Haven Aesthetics. And I, I tell you, if you're in the Massachusetts area, their pricing is amazing. Their service is amazing. And they care. <laughs> they care. They listen to what you want and they really care. So I just got a little bit of a booster here. And I probably will go back at the end of, get an appointment to anyways for the end of December to go back. Because then I'm going to be not around for a while, at least up here. So I wanted to, you know, make sure. I'm going to link all of this information below. But I can't, I highly, highly recommend anyone that's, especially in the Massachusetts, Southern New Hampshire area. And if you're looking for someplace where you can really feel super comfortable, you've got to check them out. So I wanted to tell you about that because I've only had two facials in my life. My first one, not all that great. It was more of an uncomfortable experience. But this one with Theodora, I mean, she made, she just pampered me. And it was awesome. It was really, really awesome. I absolutely loved it. So um, other things that I've been doing basically is I have, um, I've been trying to find a bathing suit. And bathing suits are really hard, right? I mean, I have my favorite bathing suit is this old green, and it's starting to get so worn out. You know, in a bathing suit, if you have it too long, it just gets so worn out. I've always loved the straps on this in the back. I don't know if you can see them. The straps are just really, really pretty. But this is my favorite bathing suit. It's a one piece, obviously. I'm not going to get into anything, whatever. So I've been looking online and I've been like trying to find something similar, but you know, I know I'm not going to, but just, just to try to find a bathing suit. You can't find a bathing suit right now and I need to have a bathing suit. So I, I found this company called Cup She. I saw it on Facebook and I'm like, mm, you know, you, you order from these companies and they're kind of like, you know, iffy. Um, and I was really worried about that. So I kept reading their reviews and all that. And so I said, I'm going to go ahead and order. So I ordered two bed suits. I ordered the screen one. I do like the straps. There's just a little bit of what I don't like. Sometimes the white shows here from the lining. But I love the back. The back is really pretty. And it fits me awesome. And I'll tell you, the quality for an online one piece bathing suit, the quality has been really, really good. I really like it. I ordered a second one. This one I really like a lot, but I might send it back because I feel the straps are so thin. I'm almost worried <laughs> that it isn't going to hold me up. It holds me up so far, and I like the color. It's a purple. Again, the quality of these, ooh, the lining is coming out. I don't, oh, I don't want to pull the lining out because then I won't be able to return it if I want to. I don't know if I'm going to return it. I just, you know, I probably won't. The prices are amazing. And for an online company, I was like, holy mackerel. So I did buy that. I also had this summer, because I knew my green bathing suit was going to be history soon, I had gone into Target. And I don't shop in Target. And I bought this bathing suit in Target. I like it. 
a lot, but I think maybe, I don't feel like it supports me. I'm, I'm chesty. I really don't feel like it supports me on top as much as I really, really need to be supported on top. So I like bathing suits and I, you know, I, I mean, I like bathing suits. I need to have a bathing suit because I'm going to be in warmer climate. And I, I don't want a bikini because I would look, you know, awful. And I wear a lot of my, my rip skirts Hawaii. You know, when Jay and I went to Hawaii the beginning of the year, um, went to Maui. And we stayed in Lahaina, the western part of Lahaina, in a very small Airbnb. I'll link that here for those of you that haven't seen it. And we stayed in this really nice Airbnb in a small, small complex. And I don't know if it's there or not. But all I wore every day was I have several of these. This is probably the latest one and the one I like the best because when you wear a solid color bathing suit like my black one, this rip skirt looks awesome. So anyways, I was looking for clothes to wear, summer type clothes, because of the fact that we're going to be in a little bit of a warmer climate. It's also why I want Jay to hurry up and get better. Um, so yeah. Not easy to buy bathing suits up here. <laughs> it's certainly not easy to find ones that I like that fit me. Uh, yeah. Oh, I also got these little clips. I should have, I got four of them. <laughs> They're flip flops. Can you see them? These are the clips you put on the back of the beach chair and it kind of anchors your towel to it. I should, I should have probably saw if I could get maybe football ones or something for Jay because I don't think Jay's going to want to clip a flip flop on his beach chair. But those and Jay and I celebrated our anniversary we went out to this is all prior to his surgery we went out to um, a place called the sea glass which is one of our favorite restaurants that we go to it's a special occasion it's an expensive restaurant but it overlooks the ocean and it's just it's just so pretty it's so so pretty such a pretty spot so we went out to the sea glass we had gotten a gift certificate and we went out and celebrated our anniversary i'll include some pictures here for you to see and um we just sat we had an oceanside table and it was it was just wonderfully relaxing my meal was wonderful jay of course got his favorite oysters and he loves those things and they were good and i can't remember what else he got but our food was perfect and then afterwards we went over to Salisbury Beach and we walked around and the sun was just setting over Salisbury Beach over on the western part of it overlooking Salisbury Harbor and it was so pretty we took a bunch of pictures the backsplash was amazing absolutely amazing backsplash it was so gorgeous and the reason why we almost didn't even make that sunset is because after dinner they at the Sea Glass, they have this really cool gift shop called By the Sea, gift shop, um, By the Sea, and it is a lot of handmade items and just different kind of pieces, you know, from jewelry to pocketbooks to scarves to, uh, you know, to all sorts of like charms and stuff like that. My favorite key ring I bought there, it has like uh, a starfish on it. I love that key ring. It's so pretty. Anyways, we went in there because we had gotten a gift certificate and they give you like $10 for each $50 you spend off. So I had like two $10 gift certificates to use. And I went in there and I ended up getting this necklace. I just thought it was so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. I thought it was so, so pretty. I love it. And you can, you know, make it shorter if you want or longer if you want. I got this necklace and I got this little matching little BD bracelet. And then I got these earrings. I thought the earrings are so pretty. I haven't worn them yet, but they've got like a little bit of a pearl and a little, it's like a flower. I just thought they were really, really pretty. So I got those and I, I just, you know, I've, I've been on a shopping spree. <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually got two sundresses at Old Navy. Now, I wouldn't even call them sundresses, but they're sort of, they're rayon, 100% rayon. The first one, 
as you can see here, is a very flowery, sort of like a little bit of a longer short sleeve. Uh, very light material, so they'd be perfect in warmer climates and certainly perfect if you were going to be on a cruise or something like that and you just wanted to have like a dress thing to go over. And the second one is black. It doesn't look good on the hanger at all, but on me where you can, I can pull it down a little bit off the shoulder. I can't wear off, off the shoulders, uh, but I can pull it down and, and a little bit and it looks really, looks much better on than uh, hanging. But I bought those too. I'm really excited about our future plans and I don't know. I'm like, oh gosh, you know, hurry up Jay and get better and come home and all that. It's it's different being home alone. You know, it's different, especially if we're used to having the companionship. And it makes you wonder, it makes me think anyways. You know, I've gone through a lot of loss these last three years with my dad, my brother, and then my mother. I'm so lucky that I have my children and I have my grandchildren and I have my husband. I'm so lucky in that sense. And it, it just made me think being here, all the things that he does that I have no clue how to do. You know, like for example, I've pumped gas maybe three times in my life. I'm gonna have to pump gas. And I know I can do it. I've just put my mind over it. Um, I gotta do things like change a water filter um, soon. And I'm hoping he'll be home so he can give me the directions. And just all those little, little things that, you know, he does that I never think about. I call them the blue jobs. I do the pink, he does the blue, you know. So now I'm going to have to do, I've been doing more blue jobs since he's been in the hospital, obviously. But it makes me appreciate the fact that I do have my husband with me. And, it, and I think of the, the women you know, my age or even younger or older, obviously, who don't, you know, and you have to go in on your own. It's like, I've thought a lot about that. I've thought a lot about that this week because it's like, I need to know where things are, how to do things, how to access things, just in case. I'm not obviously anticipating anything, but just in case I need to do that because then I will feel... Um, self-sufficient maybe self-sufficient I don't know you know that's what I'm thinking about but anyways like I said I have no idea how long this has been I apologize I'm sitting here rattling and there's so much more I want to talk about because I bought these compression bags and you know some other stuff but I think I should end this here and just say if you actually stay to the end thank you so much I know I'm just going on and on and on and um Hopefully life will just get back to somewhat normal soon. But thank you for those of you that have been reaching out to me, especially Barbara. Barbara, you always reach out to me, always. And I so appreciate, I so appreciate it. I really do. I went into my other email and I saw an email you sent and I said, oh my God, she even sent the email because I know you had left a message on another video as well. And I haven't even paid attention to that email account in the, yeah, the last couple of weeks because it's just been so crazy, hectic. But anyways, I just want to say thank you all and thank you, Barbara, for always reaching out. And um, Sheila, oh my God, my, my friend Sheila. Those of you that know Sheila, simply Sheila, aka Life with Lily, um, I want to say she's like the sister of my heart. You know, we're not really sisters, but she's been every day, every single day, are you okay? Are you, you know, what's happening? So even though she's far away, I feel so blessed to have such a close friend. Uh, she just, you know, I got up this morning and there was a message from her and I'm like, oh, you know, she's worried about Jay. How's he doing? How are you doing? And stuff like that. So I'm a lucky lady and I know it. So thank you all. And I will end this because it's going to be 40 minutes. <laughs> I should have timed it, but thank you all so much, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, and um, go Patriots! I hope they win today. That'll make Jay happy. <laughs> Bye, guys.